Okay, so welcome to this video on pneumonias, and we're going to talk about uh, pneumonias and x-rays. And x-rays are often ordered uh, to either exclude the possibility of pneumonia or to confirm it. And we'll talk about a couple of different ways that a pneumonia can present on x-ray. Uh, now, radiographically, it's really not possible to determine the cause of the pneumonia, but based on some of these patterns, you can sort of uh, narrow it down a bit. But the first thing that we should talk about are the the different the anatomy of the lungs on the x-ray. And so you can see here I've draw, drawn a bunch of lungs. This is what, how you'd look at it uh, from a PA view. And you can see the right upper lobe, the right middle ro lobe, and the right lower lobe with the various fissures, the horizontal fissure and the oblique fissure here, and the major or oblique fissure on this side. Now if you were to look on a lateral x-ray, you would see the oblique fissure going this way and the horizontal fissure going this way. And the oblique fissure on the left going this way. Now let's look at this on some x-rays. So as you can see here, we've got three x-rays, a PA and two laterals, one here and one here. And the lobes do not, they, they kind of overlap a bit. And so you can see the right middle lobe is here with the lower lobe behind it, and the right upper lobe has a little bit of the lower lobe behind it. So if we look at the PA, the horizontal fissure would be somewhere around here, and the oblique fissure like that. Uh, and on the left side, you'd have that oblique fissure looking something like that. Now, if we look at the lateral x-ray, uh, we knew that the oblique fissure went something like this, and the horizontal went something like that, splitting us up into the three different lobes of the lung here. And we could do something similar here with the oblique going like that, splitting us into the left upper and left lower lobes here. And then you can see I color-coded the different lobes here. Now, on the PA, it's a little bit more uh, difficult because it's uh, a bit overlapping. And then you can see on the PA how we have our upper lobes here. The uh, lower lobes kind of sneak behind them, and so they're a little bit posterior as well. And then the middle lobe here on the right side sits in the front right there. And so there's those are our fissures here. And so that's kind of how the, the different uh, lobes will look on the x-ray. Now let's look at a couple different pneumonias. And so we'll look at these four types, bronchopulmonary, lobar pneumonias, cavitary, and interstitial pneumonia. So let's zoom in here on this bronchopulmonary one. And what you'll see here is that there are these little kind of like patches of infiltrate. And you can see that little white spot there as I kind of make it blink on and off. You can see that it's just a small patch over there. And that's, you know, some of the alveoli have filled, out with, filled up with pus, and so we've perhaps uh, obliterated one of the, the bronchi. Now let's go to the next one here, and this one is our lobar pneumonia. And in this one we have an entire lobe which will be infected. So if we were to trace this white infiltrate here, you know, it looks something like this. So maybe this is a right middle lobe infiltrate over here. Uh, next one let's go to is a cavitary pneumonia. And so that's this here. And you can see here, we got this little ball here with an air fluid level in it. And so the fluid in there, uh, you know, that's going to be pus. And so then we got that cavity there. And then finally, let's look at the interstitial pneumonia. And I think we, it's better if we zoom in even closer, because then you can see how it's kind of got this very fine, uh, patchy, uh, it almost looks like a uh, lace-like net. And that's why that's called a reticular pattern. You can see all that in there. And that's an interstitial pneumonia. And that's when you get in, uh, pus in the interstitial space. So again, you can't really say for sure what the cause is, but you know that bronchopneumonias could be things like Staph aureus, and other gram-negative bacteria. The common uh, lobar pneumonia is going to be strep pneumonia. And then our cavities, the uh, prototypical ones are like Klebsiella or tuberculosis. And the interstitial ones tend to be things that are viral or even things like mycoplasma. So now let's just look at a couple other x-rays real quick. And here we got a PA and lateral of a uh, pneumonia and we can see this big infiltrate here and where is it it's hard to say but we know that let's draw our fissures well we know that the uh, horizontal fissure is somewhere over there the oblique one over here so it's just going to be somewhere maybe maybe in the middle lobe maybe the upper lobe so it's hard to say because it's kind of going in all of this area and so let's look at the lateral and we draw our fissures there and it looks like most of that white stuff is up here in the right upper lobe and so this would be a right upper lobe pneumonia 
So here we got another PA in lateral, and we know we can see some white stuff going on over here. So we got a left side of pneumonia. Can we say uh, better where it is? Well, we can draw a fissure in like that, and we can draw a fissure on this side like that. And looking at this, it's hard to say. It looks like there's white stuff here, but there's also white stuff here. But if you look at the lateral, it's clear that uh, most of that stuff is up here. So this is going to be a left upper lobe pneumonia. And then looking back, it's, ah, you know what, I think this attenuation might actually be due to uh, breast tissue artifact there. And so that might be making it a little bit whiter than normal, as well as the heart is in this area, which might be making it look a little whiter than normal. Let's look at the next one. And this one, again, we can see something happening up here on the right side. And so if we draw fissures here again, looks like that one's going to be clearly in the right upper lobe. But let's look at it on the lateral as well, just to be just to be safe. And we do that and we say, yeah, you know what, there it is. It looks like that's a left, uh, right upper lobe pneumonia. All right, and on this final one, we can see that there's something happening over here. Uh, where is that? We can almost kind of see a fissure over there like that. So maybe that's in the middle, maybe that's in the upper. So let's actually go to our lateral and we look at that and say, oh yeah, you know, it looks like there's more of the infiltrate white stuff kind of going on here. And so that might be a right middle lobe pneumonia. So that's our brief look at the different types of pneumonias. We looked at the four types that we have here, bronchopulmonary, lobar, cavitary, and interstitial. And then we were able to also kind of localize where it might be by drawing the fissures in. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.